Hello traders, hello everyone, my name is Gregor Korat and welcome to our new free video analysis where I will look at the crude oil and uh, also we look at dollar in general and especially dollar cat because of very strong uh, connection between crude oil prices and Canadian dollar. So uh, since April, uh, after this uh, drop on futures market below zero, um, we've been bullish on crude oil and we have been identifying uh, a reversal, a five wave reversal back into this gap from March. Up there, we were tracking this ending diagonal. So if you're our member, then you know that we've been looking for this reversal into a corrective setback that we think is now uh, unfolding. It's very interesting that we are seeing this correction taking place now at September. Okay, it was at the beginning of September and probably it's due to um, second wave of coronavirus uh, that is spreading again globally. Um, but I still think that we will not see any aggressive sell-off like we have seen in March, even if there will be, again, global lockdown. I'm sure that there are um, a lot of crude oil companies that are prepared much better uh, than before. So from an Elliott Wave perspective, I still think that these five waves up that we have seen from April lows uh, is telling us that we are actually uh, in a potential bullish phase that should resume after a free wave setback. Why free wave setback? Well, because that's the minimum requirement for uh, a correction whenever we are tracking it against the previous five wave price. So Elliott wave cycles in general, you will always see five waves in one direction and then market slows down into three waves and then again five waves up and again a pullback this is uh these are actually cycles um how the markets are moving you see sharp waves and then pullback so these pullbacks are corrections and as i said ideally they will be made by three waves here on the crude oil so uh, the perfect support would be around 30 dollars up to 34.60 dollars per barrel so that's the zone where I think we could see another bounce higher. It's also the 38.2% that I usually uh, keep an eye on, especially because that's somehow my minimum requirement whenever I'm tracking corrective wave 2 or maybe even wave B, because we don't know if this next leg up will be wave C or wave 3. But what we know is that this first five waves up suggests that trend is bullish. So definitely I'm expecting this uptrend to resume. But as I said, this wave C down is still missing. So we should not be too early, I think, um, regarding potential uptrend. Of course, there's always a chance that market that I'm wrong and that market will just explode to the upside. But I think that much better supports are, as, as I said, a little bit lower, 34.64 is is the way for uh, swing support and then you have 30 very strong psychological level so uh wave c whenever this one gets underway can be very similar to wave a because it's a motive wave so we could see a little bit lower prices um here after wave b is finished now the question is what kind of a formation wave b uh, or pattern wave b will will structure well ideally it will be a triangle why because we are now just turning up here from this lower side to this range, but we haven't seen actually a break below this September lows. So maybe we'll just stay consolidating here for a triangle, maybe even flat correction, meaning that we could retest 42 area before we see this weakness into wave C. Um, but my focus will definitely be on the bullish side. So whenever this wave C unfolds, or moves towards those supports that I mentioned, that's when things could become very interesting. Whenever I will look maybe at some um, short-term positions on uh, on futures market, um, maybe even some uh, companies, uh, crude oil companies could be very interesting crude oil stocks uh, for potential bounce, especially if uh, stocks in general will stay in uptrend. Um, now, on the FX side, if dollar cat is sorry if crude oil will really be looking for a support um around 30 to 34 dollars that's the timing when actually dollar cat could be moving could be moving uh also back to the downside so looking at um dollar cat i will just keep an eye on a daily chart here um we have very nice ongoing uh, downtrend here we have uh lower highs as you can see and lower swing lows so that's a clear uh, 
bearish trend that I think will resume after this current bounce. And ideally this bounce uh, is now going to be a wave 4. So the perfect resistance for a wave 4 would be at 1.3486. And then you have also this 1.3650, 1.370, it's the second zone. Okay, so that's the first resistance zone and that's the second resistance zone. So I would be expecting that this market will stay in downtrend and could become very, very interesting, especially when crude oil will really be looking for completion of that wave C of a corrective setback from September highs. So dollar cat, I think, will stay in downtrend. It's now just testing high resistances because dollar cat is uh, reversing back into this into this uh, corrective phase. Uh, at the same time, it's also good to look at uh, dollar index. I mean, dollar index here is reversing very nicely away from this March levels. It was a very strong break below that level here uh, back in the middle of summer. And now we retested this level and now we are again turning back to the downside. So I think this is also indication that uh, overall dollar should remain weak. And when crude oil really bottoms, I think that CAT could be very, very interesting. Traders, thank you very much for, uh, for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please support us, press a like, leave us a comment, share this video, and we will make sure that we do much of those videos in the future.